Hi everyone, I'm Anna. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about 12 essential items that you need if you are getting ready to start clinicals in nursing school. I'd like to preface this by saying that I'm a very practical and kind of a bare bones person. I don't like to carry a bunch of extra stuff around. And I think that's a really helpful approach as you're figuring out the best items that you need either for your first clinical rotation or if you are a brand new nurse. Many of these items I myself carried with me into clinicals. When I was a nursing instructor, I would have my students bring many of these items. And I also will bring most of these things to work with me to this day when I work shifts in the hospital. As I go through my top 12 items, I've linked almost all of them for you in the description if you'd like to see exactly what I use or find something similar to it. If you find something helpful as you're watching this video, please give it a like and let's go ahead and jump in with our first item. The first essential item you need for clinicals is a good pair of shoes. This is arguably the most important because you will probably be on your feet almost the entire time at clinical. I've never really been a fan of the nursing clog style shoe. I've tried a lot of different style and they're just not comfortable for me. My favorite standing on my feet shoes are the Noble Niche Runners. I've had these for a few years now. They're still going strong. They are the most comfortable shoe I've found if I'm going to be standing quite a bit in my shift. Depending on what unit I'm working in, I may know that I could be standing more, but if I know I'm going to be walking around or running around a little bit more, I love my Sockney Pro Endorphin trainers. Now these shoes are a little bit more expensive. They swing on the pricier side, but these are by far the most comfortable shoe that I have ever worn walking or running. I would highly recommend them as an investment piece for your work wardrobe. The second item that you'll need in clinicals is a watch. Even if you are allowed to use your phone at clinicals to look up research articles or access different apps, people still see a student on their phone and assume that one, they're not working, or two, that they're not paying attention to them or their loved one in the hospital. You really need a watch to be able to quickly tell the time. And there are many instances when you are working in clinical where you will need to know the specific time and you don't have a free hand to reach into your pocket and pull out your phone. It's much easier to look on your wrist, note the time and move on with the task. This doesn't need to be a fancy watch. Any watch that digitally displays the hours, the minutes, and the seconds will do just fine. Now that we've covered the clinical essentials that you'll wear, let's cover clinical accessories that you need. The third item you will need is a stethoscope. Now, to be honest, it may be less and less necessary to have your own stethoscope as more and more patients will have stethoscopes in their own private rooms as infection control concerns increase. Nevertheless, it is still important that every nursing student own a stethoscope and that you bring the stethoscope to clinical. Again, this doesn't need to be a super fancy stethoscope and I will link for you in the description the stethoscope that I use. The fourth item you will need is a pair of trauma shears or scissors. Now to go with the common theme, these do not have to be an expensive pair. Chances are you will not be cutting off wedding bands in your clinical rotation. You will, however, be cutting many bandages, tegaderms, numerous other things where it's helpful to carry scissors on your person. This is especially helpful if you don't have the luxury of having bedside carts in your patient's room. To show you that you don't need anything spectacular, these are the scissors that I've had for years that I still carry around with me every shift in the hospital. Again, they're probably not gonna cut through multiple layers of clothing and certainly not cut through any metal, but for most of the tasks I do, these get the job done very well. The next thing that you'll need is a pair of goggles or safety glasses. While pandemic PPE requirements are seeming to relax maybe a little bit, there will still be many cases and instances in clinical where you will need to wear goggles to care for a patient undergoing a certain procedure or to do certain tasks. The unit may have a pair for you to borrow, but play it safe and bring your own. Plus, even if the goggles or glasses are disinfected, you really don't wanna to have to share these with several other students. The sixth item that you will want to have on you is a badge buddy Sharpie. This jumble here is my badge and the Sharpie I have on here is arguably the most important thing that I carry on me as a nurse. We nurses are labeling, initialing, and dating everything. These mini Sharpies can clip right onto your name badge so you always have one close. 
I honestly can't remember the last time I didn't have one of these on my name badge. The seventh thing you'll need to bring to clinical is an excellent pin. And not just an excellent pin, but a steel worthy pin. Yes, we live in a digital world, and yes, you will still be writing everything down as a nurse. Always have a pin ready to use or to temporarily lend out. I've linked for you my favorite pin for years that I always take to work with me. They glide on all surfaces, even paper towels when you're needing to write down information quickly. Now that we've covered essential things that you'll wear to clinical, essential accessories you'll need to bring to clinical, let's finish up by talking about several essential personal items you will want to have with you in your clinical rotations. The eighth essential item that you'll need is a backpack. No, these aren't as stylish as other options, but they are incredibly practical. This is especially helpful when you're having to park way out in the boonies of the parking lot because you're a student and you still have to haul in all of your textbooks and other gear to clinical. Backpacks distribute the load across your entire back and keep you hands-free. This is a win. I've had my North Face backpack since college. The straps are incredibly comfortable and I love that the darker color hides everyday wear and tear. If you're looking for a backpack, I would also suggest finding one that has a built-in computer sleeve like mine does because you'll probably be carrying a computer or tablet around with you most of the places as you go. The ninth essential item that you'll need is a cubed lunchbox. Do not be that person who brings the lunch tote bag. Be considerate with precious fridge space, especially if you're a student visiting a particular unit. Always let the staff nurses have first dibs on fridge space, but by having a compact lunchbox, you're more easily able to secure a spot in the refrigerator. I've had several small lunchbox over the years, and I found that this cube shape provides the maximum amount of food storage while taking up the least amount of space in the refrigerator. The 10th essential item that you'll need is a personal med pouch. You will have a migraine at clinical. Something will hurt at clinical. You will have a cold starting at clinical. These unfortunately are the facts of life. Because you can't raid the Pixis or the RX station at clinical, you need to be prepared for all of these events by bringing your own meds. This is not best practice, but I have a little pill bottle where I keep a combination of ibuprofen, Tylenol, naproxen, Benadryl and Zyrtec to name a few. It's not super comprehensive, but it's all there just in case I need it or if one of my colleagues needs it. The 11th essential item you'll need is a durable water bottle with a lid. I have a large water bottle that I carry around with me everywhere. This sounds oddly specific, but when I was looking for a water bottle, I knew that I wanted it to have a lid so I could throw it in my backpack. I knew I wanted it to be able to keep a beverage cold or hot for hours on end. And I also knew that it had to be durable because I would probably be dropping it a lot. This Awala water bottle is the perfect water bottle that fits all of these criteria. I've linked this one for you in the description, but I've had this water bottle for several years and I've dropped it several times, but it's remained durable, it keeps my drinks cold, and I can throw it in my backpack without worrying about it spilling everywhere. The 12th and final essential item you'll need with you at clinical is a pack of gum or breath mints. I know this probably sounds weird, but I always carry at least a stick of gum with me at all times. I call this my courtesy stick. We're still wearing masks in many patient care areas, but sometimes you need a stronger barrier between your coffee breath and being in close contact with patients and their families. This is also helpful if you need to help overcome other less desirable smells as you're providing patient care. There's nothing like minty freshness to mask up other odors. Well, there you have it. Those are 12 essential items that you need for clinical if you're just getting started. Very practical items that I still carry with me for most of the shifts that I work in the hospital. I'm sure you have fantastic ideas of things that you can't live without in clinical or items you couldn't imagine going to work without. I'd love to hear what those are, so please put those in the comments below.